you're going to see all these company names. They're going to be like Jet Program, Interac, GABA, Nova, Aeon, and you're just like, what does this even mean? Like, what are they? Like, what do I do? Like, is this an Akaiwa? Am I an ALT? Okay, so I'm gonna talk about jobs, specifically teaching jobs in Japan. If you don't want to be a teacher, you want to put your four-year degree in biochemistry to good use, this isn't for you. This is for teaching in Japan. And if you think that teaching in Japan is below you and not something that you're interested in, uh, why are you here? <laughs> There's a title for a reason. Alright, so there's two types of teaching in Japan and I'm going to give a very, very brief overview of like what the hell is teaching in Japan actually about. The main two types of teaching are going to be Eikaiwa and ALT, so just like keep those in mind. There's Eikaiwa, which is one-on-one -on -one or like small groups, English conversation classes, working at an English conversation school. And those classes are usually adults and children. It could be anyone, it could be one on one, it could be a small group with you leading the class. You are the teacher. Um, but it's not like your typical Monday to Friday, nine to five. So you're usually gonna be working on some weekdays and definitely on Saturdays, Sundays. Like you're gonna be working all day because kids have off of school and they wanna like go do more school. Some now have their own curriculum where like you just kind of show up and read off of a paper and a book and a script and you don't really have to think that hard. But yeah, so there's Eikaiwa which is adults and children and junior high school kids, high school kids, senior citizens, all ages. And then there is ALT which is assistant language teacher and that's where you're going to be working in a regular school, public or private, from Monday to Friday, sometimes you do Saturdays. You are an assistant to a Japanese person who is certified to actually be a real teacher. You're not the head teacher, you're not the main teacher in public schools. So you can work as an ALT like at an elementary school, kindergarten, junior high school, high school, those are all options for an ALT. If you're looking to come to Japan and you're looking to work and be a teacher, you definitely need to know what kind of companies are out there because there are a lot of black companies. I mean, they're basically the shittiest companies that are out there. I've heard horror stories from other ALTs so not everything is super awesome and wonderful. It is overwhelming, absolutely overwhelming, the amount of jobs that you can find. I went on last night and I just typed into Google English Japan ALT and like 3,000 searches came up and it was listing all of these like companies and all of these company names but then they didn't have like a whole lot of information about them in the last five or so years since I first came here. There's just so many companies, some companies are good, some companies are absolutely fucking horrific, and some companies are just like a straight scam, and not everyone can get into a good company or into a good school. So, I mean, there's a lot that goes into trying to find your job here. Any site that you go on, you're gonna see like fucking ESID, like every situation is different and it's the like overarching theme of teaching in Japan where you try to get any information, you try to understand what the hell you're trying to do, where you're trying to go, what companies are good, what companies are bad, and you're gonna see everyone saying, I don't want to name my company that's shitty for some reason, they don't want to name it, and then you're gonna have everyone saying, uh, ESID. Every situation is different. You just have to like come here and figure it out. And like it's definitely true. Like I worked at a shitty company for the first like six months that I did this and it was horrible and my situation was like no one else that I knew. 
it's just like saying uh, re like results may vary and it, it's true but like you can give a little bit more and that's what I want to do like I want to be able to tell you like a little bit more because I really don't care about shouting out the bad fucking black companies that are in Japan like heart heart company you can you, you can go away but when you're looking for these jobs like you're gonna see like am I going to be in charge of my own curriculum am I going to be doing some set curriculum uh, you you have no idea you're just seeing like company names and especially if you go on a website like gaijin pot or something to look up jobs they just are spamming like spamming their jobs because a lot of the shitty companies will have high turnover rates you're gonna see the same company over and over again just like maybe with different locations or maybe not even different locations sometimes it's just like the headquarters that they put down but yeah it's super, super frustrating. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, four-year university degree, that's going to be, it's gonna be a challenge. It's not even about being hired for a job, particularly, it's about your visa requirements. And to get your visa for an instructor visa, you need to have a four-year degree, bachelor's degree. I would stay clear of any company that says it's okay, you don't need that because you do in fact need that for that visa. Uh, if you're on a spousal visa and you only have an associate's degree or, you know, nothing, uh, it's actually, it's pretty possible. They just like use your spousal visa as your work visa, so you don't need that instructor's visa. Uh, if you're from a country that is not a native English speaking country might be difficult. More and more companies are opening up to that but there are a lot of companies that just don't recruit from those countries and the countries where they do recruit from you need to have like 12 years of English I think or like even more than that. When I'm looking for information for things whether I'm job hunting or trying to buy a new tech product or I'm looking up how to do something for the first time, I'm always looking for videos that are short, to the point. I want to be able to give quick and easy to understand information about the things that you're getting into and the things that you're trying to find out if you want to get into. Anyway, so that is a really, really, really brief overview of what kind of jobs there are going to be for you in Japan as a teacher. I'm planning to do a few more videos where I kind of break down, talk about the dirty companies that no one should actually be working for, and give some advice on the companies that maybe you want to look out for, uh, maybe the companies that you want to keep watch on if they're hiring, hints and tips I guess on like how to, how to get your job, but like essentially if you speak English, you have a degree that'll allow for them to sponsor your visa, and you are like of moderate intelligence, you shouldn't really have a problem getting a job teaching English in Japan. It's really, I mean, I think everyone gets kind of like, work, like really like scared about it because they hear so many people get rejected from one or two big companies, but there are so many different jobs here that it's, it's fine. Like if you don't get into that one that everyone wants, uh, because it's like the most competitive one, you know, it's fine. Like you could find something else, you could do something else. If you want to live here, you want to teach here, like you will find a way to get here and uh, it'll be, it'll be okay. Like don't, uh, don't panic. Don't panic about trying to get to Japan to teach. Teaching jobs aren't going anywhere. <laughs> as far as I can tell, teaching jobs are not disappearing in Japan anytime soon. All right, yeah, so I'll be back with another video about what kind of situations you could find yourself in, what kind of schools you might be placed in, what kind of situations are going to happen at these schools, what your different companies might expect from you. Um, so yeah, so come back, stay tuned, and until then, uh, I don't know, do what you do on the internet. <laughs>